Now we're going to do the combination vehicle only check. We're going to start in the catwalk area and check our electrical lines and our connectors. On the tractor, I want to make sure that I'm checking my air lines. They're securely fastened to the truck. There are no crack or no abrasions, bulges or cuts in the air lines. I hear no audible air leaks. And I want to make sure that my electrical line is plugged into the truck and that the locking tab is in place. I want to check my line here, my electrical line. I want to make sure that there is no cuts, frays, or exposed wire in that line. Also, on, again, on my airlines, I want to check to make sure that there are no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and there are no audible air leaks. Moving up to the trailer, I'm checking my electrical line. I want to make sure that the locking tab is in place and that it's securely fastened in the connection on the trailer. I want to check my glad hands. I've got blue hooked to blue, I've got red hooked to red. The seals inside the glad hands are in good condition, they're not damaged, they're not worn out. I also want to make sure that they're connected correctly and I want to make sure that I have no air leaks coming out of those glad hands. On the combination vehicle section you'll notice where it says fifth wheel skid plate or pintle hook or tow hitch. For a tractor trailer we're not going to worry about the pintle hook or the tow hitch. We're just going to talk about the fifth wheel skid plate. This is my fifth wheel skid plate. The fifth wheel is securely fastened to the truck. It is missing no fasteners. It is not cracked, damaged, or broken. It is properly lubricated. I also notice that the apron of my trailer here is in good condition. It's securely fastened to the trailer. It is not cracked, damaged, or broken. And I notice between the apron and the fifth wheel that I have no gap. I see no daylight between there. So attached to the apron is the kingpin. The kingpin is securely fastened to the apron. It's not cracked, damaged, or broken. And it has no unauthorized welding. Now I'm going to look for locking devices. I want to check the release handle for my lock jaws. The release handle is in the locked position. It is also securely fastened to the fifth wheel. It is not cracked, damaged, or broken. I have the sliding locks for my fifth wheel platform. Those are also securely locked in so that the fifth wheel cannot move back and forth in the sliding rail. Now at this point I would look back behind the fifth wheel up the throat of the fifth wheel to see that my locking jaws are locked into place around the kingpin. I want to make sure that they're securely fastened to the truck. They are not cracked, damaged, or broken. And again, they're locked around that kingpin. 